could have my tummy out even if it's just on TikTok for clout and if you got something to say shut your mouth cuz I'm a hot ass bitch I'm a hot ass bitch I think I need some dick pill or some daddy profen. So I walk past my dad, right? And he goes, low? <laughs> See that toxic person? We're walking the other way. See that toxic person? And we're walking the other way. Toxic person, walk the other way. Toxic person, walk the other way. Toxic person, walk the other way. Walk the other way. Just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy. And I am a hundred percent glorifying obesity. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hey guys, wanted to show you this new shirt I got. Stop trying to normalize obesity. I'm I'm just trying to show off my shirt. Okay, so um as a community that is operating in the body liberation, fat activism world, we are no longer posting before and after photos. Everybody knows that, right? And if you have, that's okay. I'm not here to shame you, but I am here to help educate you. Before and after photos, especially on a weight loss journey, are incredibly problematic for the rest of the community. They're problematic for so many reasons, but the one I'm going to address today, you are simply stating that the before photo, the fat body that you lived in before, is not good, and that the thin body that you have after is good. The problem is, a lot of this community still resides in that type of body. They resonate with that type of body, and by putting them next to them, each other and saying, the fat body is not worthy, but the thin body is, you are doing so much harm to your fellow human. So I'm pleading with you, once you know better, do better. There is no room for the diet culture and the body liberation fat activism movement, period. It literally harms the most marginalized in this community. So stop doing it. People continue to come for me as if they're not getting it. So let me be a lot more clear. I'm a different kind of fat bitch. I don't care about your failings and I'm not here to protect your fraudulent masculinity. I'm also not here to make you feel better about your body. I am not here to be your punching bag because you hate yourself and instead of going to therapy, you use social media to feel better. Your idea of how health should be and how women should look like is not my fucking job to live up to. Your feelings are not my responsibility. Go fuck yourself. Y'all want fat women to hate themselves so that you can feel better because you actually hate yourself. That's why you're out here spending money on plastic surgery that you don't have. Killing yourself in the gym even when you really don't want to. Starving yourself because you think what someone thinks of you is more important than you. Fat women are not the ones with the issue. We are happy. We are fat. We're getting dick. We're fucking. We're eating. We're living. We're surviving. I'm not covering up my body. I'm not covering up my mouth. I'm not doing anything that I do not want to do. So you guys can keep with your hate comments. You can keep with your opinions. Because nine times out of ten, I will probably just roast you or delete it. This is my space and I don't have to be uncomfortable in it. You are allowed to voice your opinion, just not on my page and not in my fucking space. And you can say, oh, well, it's social media and you can post it. Yeah, but there's also something called settings. And I can get little bitches like you up out my motherfucking space. So if you think you're hurting my feelings with your eight followers and no profile picture, think again. Baby, I got other stuff to do, other things I got going for myself than this motherfucking app. This may be y'all motherfucking day job, but a bitch got real bills and real issues. I don't give a fuck what y'all got to say about me because y'all ain't paying for no bills. And people hate me regardless. I've tried to be the thin person. I've tried to be the white black girl. I've tried to be this. I've tried to be that. And honestly, it got me nowhere. So I'm being myself. And I'm being honest with myself. And I'm a bitch. 
So continue to come for me and I will continue to fire it right back. I am not taking the high road. I am not going to go cry in a motherfucking corner. I'm going to get even with you and I am going to hurt your feelings. Because I don't have to attack your appearance. I can attack you where it fucking hurt. About the fact that all you guys who come to my page to tell me to hate myself is because you're at home binge eating and crying at night because you can't even stand to be in the same room with yourself for more than five minutes. So you make it everybody else's motherfucking problem while you're fucking miserable. Instead of being a real confident bitch like me who can get on here and no matter what people say about her continues to shine and make other people happy. I don't exist for you. People don't exist for other people. I exist because I have to. And if I have to be here, I'm going to do it my way. For people to continuously come and try to diminish my shine, it's hilarious because you're just showing that you wish you were me. Oh, Greta, you're going to regret this one. Tell me why men get aroused by your body. Because they're attracted to me, Greta. If someone is booking me, it's because they're attracted to me. That's why they're aroused by my body. Because fat people are attractive. Fat people are hot. Just because you personally don't find my body or fat bodies attractive doesn't mean that they're not. Right? Right? It's, it's nearly 2022. I don't know why you're still out here trying to like body shame on people's videos because it's fucking gross. But like... Let me just have like a bit of a hot take for a second. Like it's a really, really hot take. You've probably never heard it before, but maybe the reason that people are attracted to me is because I'm not just a body and I'm a whole ass person. You know, like I've got a personality, I've got a sense of humor, I care about people, I'm nice to people. I'm not nice to you because like, you know, sometimes people don't deserve my kindness, but I'm not the one out here fucking leaving body shaming comments on somebody's post that's literally like hey look my body in clothes I don't want to feel subconscious about it I'm finding things that I feel cute in and you're like tell me why men get aroused by your body maybe because it's not your body because your body is attached to your shitty personality <laughs> I'm fat no you're not fat you're beautiful yes I'm both very beautiful and fat no, you are a thick, curvy, fluffy orb of light. Please stop doing this. I know you mean no harm, but fat is an inoffensive term. And fatness and beauty can actually exist in the same person, whether you believe it or not. The implication that it can't is actually deeply rooted in fat phobia, which is even further rooted in white supremacy. And you probably need to educate yourself, check yourself, and maybe heal your fatness wound if you're a fat person yourself. Anyone who grew up in the early thousands and have body image issues because of it, do you remember how we were made to believe that she was fat, that she was the duff, the fat funny friend. I saw this picture and it, it like immediately came flooding back to me that like when I thought of Ugly Betty or any of the movies or shows that America Ferrara was in, that she was sold as like the fat friend. Take another look, take another, this is a real eye-opening experience for me. I have to do like a deep dive on like other celebrities that we were told were fat and probably were not even close to being like mid-size. God, it's no wonder. It's no wonder that we have so much trauma <laughs> from the early thousands. I would kill to have the representation that young people have now because what was that? The idea that fat people are promoting obesity is nonsense. Promoting obesity is not a real thing and it never has been. There are no multi-million dollar marketing campaigns telling thin people to get fat quick or a $72.7 .7 billion weight gain industry in the United States alone, or government-funded initiatives aimed at eliminating the existence of thin people, or messages to thin people that if they can never be fat, then their life isn't worth living. But all of those things do exist in reverse for fat people. The entire concept of promoting obesity is a myth that's used to silence fat people when we advocate for the basic human rights we're so often denied, like equal access to health insurance, life insurance, medical care, employment, education, travel, clothing, or just basic happiness and freedom from living in shame and abuse. The only things we are promoting are kindness, respect, and equality. Fat people have always deserved equal rights and ethical treatment. The only difference is that now we're saying that out loud. When I say that there's nothing you can say to me about like my weight and my size that affect me or upset me, 
I'm being very genuine because I've been fat my entire life and I know that I am hot. Like it's just like you can't, you can't argue that. But what does upset me is when thin people come in my comments and saying the things that I am saying about being a fat person are not valid. I've been fat my entire life since like second grade and I come and talk on here about things that make fat people uncomfortable, things that would make your fat friends more comfortable and just living as a fat person so thin people can listen. And in the comments, it's very obvious that a lot of them do not want to listen. Just because you have not experienced something firsthand does not mean it is something that doesn't happen, especially if you are a thin person. Most importantly, my account is for other fat people to feel valid and know that they are not alone. But if thin people want to listen, that would also be great and very much appreciated.